Hi there, my name is Bhushan. Welcome back to the video series on Java FX. In our previous lecture, we have discussed about the table view. We have displayed the database records in a table view. So in this video, we will look at the last database operation that is search operation. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Before writing the code for search operation, we have to do one more thing. I will open the scene builder. As soon as the record has been added to the database, we have to refresh the table view. In the same way, as soon as we update the record, we have to refresh the table view. And in the same way, we have to delete the record. So once we delete the record, we have to refresh the table view. So for that, I will copy these two lines and I will copy this and paste it after the every database operation. So I will paste it after the insert operation. So which means we will hit the database and we will get the records and we will populate the table. So I will paste the same code after the update also and the delete also. Align it properly. Okay, now if I run the project and let's insert some record. Chaitra, Shrigur, Chaitra at hotmail.com and I click add employee as you can see in the result console we will get the message and also the table has been refreshed and the record has been updated automatically in the table view so if you update the record like instead of Sirgur if I say like Chaitra SP the employee ID is 7 and the new email ID is Chaitra at gmail.com when I click update the record has been updated as you can see and in the same way if I click on the delete the record has been deleted and again the record has been updated in the table view so that's one thing and now let's write a code for search operation so I will close this and after the populate table method let's write a private method private void search employee and I will pass an action event and this will throw some exception called class not found exception and SQL exception here we will call the DAO method of the search employee so let's go to our uh, DAO and here we will write our DAO method which is public and this will return an observable list observable list which is of type employee and uh, this should be a static method the method name is search employee and for this we will pass an employee ID and this will throw an exception called class not found exception and an SQL exception so let's write our SQL query select star from employee where ID is equal to employee ID and inside the try catch block error occurred while searching the record let's print the stack trace and this will throw an exception inside the try block let's call the db util method dot I will use the db execute method for this we will pass an SQL statement and this will return a result set result set and now we will pass that result set to a get employee objects as you can see this will accept the result set as a parameter so let's call this method I will pass the result set and this will give us a observable list 
observable list which is of type employee and now I will return that list let's save this and in our employee controller let's call that method using a employee DAO employee DAO dot search employee for this we will pass an employee ID so for that I will take a help of this text box so the text box ID is search employee ID so I'll copy this and I will paste it and I will use a get text method to get the value so I will pass this and this will gives the observable list observable list which is of type employee and now we will pass that list to a populate table method so let's save this and uh, and we are getting an exception uh, okay let me correct it okay save this and now I will annotate this with an at fxml annotation now save this and I will quickly open the scene builder I'll close this and we'll open it once again and click on this search and then on the on action event you will find this little arrow button click on this and you will find the method that is search employee click on this and save this and clean the project let's run the application and see what we get as you can see we have a two records in our database let's insert one more record first Chetan Sirgur Chetan at yahoo.com add employee so the record has been updated so now inside this employee ID I will take a Chetan employee ID which is 8 and I will click on the search button as you can see that record has been displayed in the table view but in our result console we have to display that message for that I will close this and after this populate table I, table method what I will do is after we get the list I will put a condition if list dot size is greater than zero then we have to populate this table and we have to using that result console property we have to set the text as record has been found else if the record is zero or less than zero then we have to display the message as record has not found save this and uh, let's run the project and see what we get let search for the employee ID 102 and when I click search as you can see record has not found if I say 6 which is present in this table view when I click search as you can see record has been found and in the table view it's showing the particular record so this is all about the search operation so now when the user clicks on this search all employee we have to display all the records so for that I will write a one more method inside our uh, controller private void search all employees and I will pass an action event this will throw some exception called class not found exception and SQL exception for this I will copy these two lines and I will paste it and I will annotate this with at fxml save this and I will quickly go to the scene builder and I will click on this search all employee button as you can see on action event I will click on this arrow button and as you can see there is a method called search all employees click on this and save this clean the project and run let's see what we get so let's 
search for the particular record which is 6 so when I click on search it's showing the particular record so when I click on search all employees it will display all the employee records which are there in the database so that is about the search operation so thank you so much for watching I will see you in next video